Hello, it's still September and in this video John's going to show you how to divide and plant water lilies. We've started to plant up the pond that we installed only a couple of weeks ago and I've put the link to that video in the cards above. Welcome to John Horsey Horticulture. John's been teaching horticulture professionally for over 30 years now and on this channel we're hoping to help you develop your gardening skills. Whether you're new to gardening and would like some advice on propagation techniques, a bit of pest control, growing vegetables and much much more or whether you're a seasoned horty who could always use some extra tips. If you like learning those things do consider following us there's no charge just press the subscribe button push the notification bell that's all important it just lets you know every time we upload a new video hello again you saw last time how we got our pond uh, ready to go it's uh, now filled up i put the soil back around it built the little wall around and uh, i've given it a couple days just to settle down let the water uh, settle let all the some of chemicals come out and uh, let it naturalize a little bit. I did put a bit of uh, pond weed in as I explained to you the other day that the sooner you get that in the better because that, that gets the water maturing gets it more natural and better for plants. Now of course the plant most people want of course is water lilies and uh, uh, that's what that's what we're going to start off with today. Now you may have to go and buy them they're quite expensive if you buy them from a the shop hopefully you've got a friend who will give you one or if you've got a pond already you can get one up and you can uh, divide one. I've got one here which I'm going to, to work on. I'm going to try and avoid it being in the sun for too long because they do burn a bit, especially with the sun being as hot as it is today. So so that, that that's the, the lily. I'll put it back into the shade a bit while I get the, the basket. Now when it comes to using the compost, ordinary garden soil is fine. It really is a waste of time putting fertilizer in. Pond plants, as you know, if you have a pond, get going very, very quickly. They're very, very adaptable. They have no nu low nutrient levels. Um, they've got a perfect growing condition, if you think about it, because they're hopefully in the full sun. They've got uh, plenty of water, uh, and uh, they, they, they get plenty of nutrients from the, from the, the water that they're in. So that's, that's the basket we're going to plant it in. Um, when I look at this plant, though, bring it up again. Can you see here, if you look close at it, I mean, I've, I've tidied it up, I've taken off the, or the old leaves, in fact that's rather old, and I'll pull that off the road. Uh, <clears throat> I've taken off the old leaves, left, left the young ones, I've got a bud coming there as well, I might get a flower later on. Lots of new shoots coming, which is very good. Um, I've, I've just dug this out of the other pond and pulled it up, but when I look at it, can you see there, all these new shoots, look at that. The, those new leaves coming, in fact, there's one, two, three, four, five, about six new shoots coming here. So if you if you want to divide it up, what you do is you just get your um, a knife or a trowel. I'm going to use trowel here. Put them back in like that, and gradually ease it off like that, and. There I've got a little plant. I could actually divide that up again. I could get, if, if I was in business, I'd get one, two, three, four, five little plants from that. But I'm not too worried about it. This is a good uh, mature uh, plant I've got here. It's got lots of babies coming as well as the ones I've cut off. So I'm just gonna put it in uh, as it is. So it's simply a question of um, soil on the bottom, uh, try a little bit and see you, you really want to have to try and get the, the lily as proud as possible so put it in and try it that's going to come at the top I'm going to give it a bit more just to get it a bit, bit a little bit more proud so here we are put the, the lily's going in like that She's quite proud out of, out of the basket and then I just put the soil around it and, and we're done. Here she goes, put the weed, uh, and there, that's a nice, a nice plant. Let's firm it in a little bit with your fingers. Um, it goes well, put those out of the way. And there we are.
nicely done. What you can do now is to stop the soil coming out a little bit and, and to make it a little more presentable to cover that with gravel. It just it makes it look a bit more presentable but also stops something uh, I, I never keep fish because I like wildlife but if you did have fish and you put this gravel around it stops them actually uh, going in there and, and digging out all the, the soil and keeps the water a bit clearer. So in this case that one's ready to go. Um, you might want to label it. Um, I know it's my favourite one, Chromatella, and that's ready to go in. I'm going to put it in straight away because um, it is a hot day and I want to get it in. Now I've got to think about the levels here because um, I don't want this to go in too deep. So let's go and have a look and see how deep it will be. Remember to take your watches off if that's appropriate and then we'll try and get it in. Um, I'm just going to let it let the water soak in a little bit. I'm holding it steady. I want it at the back so that it'll grow forward. So I'm putting it down there in the very bottom of the pond. And that's going to be okay actually because th those leaves will come up. That will float on the surface. That one's all right. And that one, I pull that one around. Just try to get them up. They'll, they'll find their own position in a few days very quickly. Oh, but that, 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 that's fine. Um, and that's going to be really, really lovely. So there we are, we'll just leave that one to settle. No, no problems with that one at all. If it was a little bit too deep, I might have had to put some bricks underneath. But I think that's going to be great. So that's the, um, the big one gone in. And I'll just wait for that to establish. It's Chromatella, it's a yellow one, I love it. It's got those blotchy leaves as you can see. It has a sort of palish yellow flower and uh, to me it always does very well right so that's dealt with the the big lily gone in very straightforward no problem at all but this little bit that i cut off uh, now that needs to be to be nurtured a bit i can't put that straight in the bottom of the pond well it probably would be all right but it'll do much better if i grow it on uh, yes I, I i could break it up into into lots of different bits but i'm just going to grow it on for now and then maybe split it next year in, uh, further so it's very, very similar sort of operation. Um, soil in the bottom again, as I say, not, not too worried. Ordinary garden soil is fine. Um, the clay are the better, usually. They, they, they seem to do well in clay soil. A few more nutrients, I suppose. But uh, here we are, we're growing it on like this. Uh, making up the soil. I'm just gonna place it on the surface so he's just a bit proud. soil around him. Again, firm it in. I'm going to put a bit more, just enough soil there. Put a little bit of gravel on as we did before. Just firm it in and make it look better. Now the difference from this one and the other one is the depth. That one is, the, 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 the growing point is just there. So that does need to go onto a shallow part of the pond. Now if I put that straight in there, it's going to be too deep. So I'm putting a brick on that shelf like that. I'm putting the two bricks like that. And then I'm going to put the water lily on top of those bricks. Again, if you get the water to hold it, now I can see that's going to be too, too hard, too proud. So let's take it out before it gets too wet and heavy and put the bricks, I put them in on the end, let's put them in flat and see how that does. So there we are and this time we'll put it in, doing the same sort of thing and I put it in like that, that's perfect because you can see the water's covering the, covering the lilies but they'll now grow away quite quickly, get those agapanthus leaves out of the way. They will grow away quite quickly and within a few few weeks actually you'll find that those lily leaves will all be on the surface and then I'll come along and take away those bricks and put it a bit deeper and gradually doing that you will develop the lily, lily's growth without giving it too much of a shock. So that's a very useful afternoon 
getting those lilies together. Okay. If you enjoyed that, please do look out for our next two videos. They're going to be about planting marginal plants in the pond, starting with marsh marigolds, followed by irises. Thank you so much for joining us here in Somerset. We've really enjoyed having you. If you like that video, please do consider following us. Push the subscribe button, there's no charge. Ding the notification bell, that lets you know every time we upload a new video. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. Until next time.